scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So when you lift up your voice, that's like a child calling his father if you are a child indeed god should not be silent when he hears you speak if you are a son indeed the bible says that hagar cried together with her young lad and strangely before her voice got to heaven the voice of the young lad had reached the heavens and god came and said what is going on here and she began to lament and suddenly an oasis came out of a desert hallelujah I know that God can arise for those who take him serious, those who pray. Is it all right if we pray this morning? It takes discipline, it takes faith to pray, but I assure you, if and when we pledge our lives to pray, the Bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous, it says it avails much, it can produce power, it can produce wonders. I'm a product of the ministry of prayer. I know what prayer can do. If you pray and you pray with understanding and pray with faith, you will disarm the powers of hell. You will allow God to step in in dimensions beyond your imagination. Was it not in the book of Acts, the Bible says how that the apostle was caught and kept in prison. And then it says prayers were offered day and night. In fact, let's look at Acts chapter 12 and then we arise to pray. We need the God of wonders to show up for us. Acts chapter 12, we're reading the first 10 verses. Verse 1, please. Acts chapter 12 and verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then they were the days of unleavened bread. Uh-huh. And when he had apprehended him, the Bible says he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but, hallelujah, but prayer was made without season, keyword, without season, of the church unto God for him and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh-huh and behold an angel of the Lord came unto him in response to the prayer and a light shined in prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he was thought he saw a vision verse 10 verse 10 
please listen this is a very powerful mystery without influence you cannot do much for the kingdom you need visibility for your business you need visibility for ministry you need visibility It's one thing to be anointed is one thing to be called but it's another thing to be accepted and embraced that the dimension of god committed to you there is a demand upon it but i tell you in the realm of the spirit there are iron gates just because you left the prison does not mean you are free please keep that scripture there verse 10 he says he came to the iron gate that leaded unto the city which opened to them of its own accord and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed there are people as we pray this morning your businesses you have products and services that if people knew listen my my one of the dimensions of god's wonder that i pray will happen as we pray this morning is the grace for visibility there is a grace that can unveil a man like you unveil a product from a carton and lift him up like a trophy and say hear ye him it's a grace it's a grace that can come as the wonder working power of god whilst we pray hallelujah it says and it was noised abroad that jesus had come your products there are so many people here respectfully speaking you have done your best in terms of your intellectual preparation all you need now is to be connected through the mystery of visibility to the men and the women who need what you stand for and look how difficult it is without that grace there are people today, there are people in this nation. Hallelujah. There are people in this nation. Honestly, if this grace should come upon them in addition to the value that they have, the demand that will be placed upon your life, your children and your children's children will eat from it. But that grace is not there. So many people die with gifts many people live with gifts there are some of you here you are not supposed to be where you are you are supposed to your your preparation demands that you should be in the palace there are worship ministers all across this nation sincere people well-meaning people but this grace for visibility is not there and they die with their gifts they sing you know i've heard a few people at a personal level and i I'm, I'm in shock why is the world not listening to you i have i have heard and seen men and women of god respectfully speaking i remember meeting i was uh, i think the, the eastern part of this nation and i had the opportunity to talk with a dear woman and whilst we spoke you know i mean this woman came to me for counseling and for prayer but then i just had some time of conversation and i was almost going down my knees to say madam pray for me I'm, i think i'm the one who needs your grace but the grace for visibility please take serious what i'm saying life will be hard until men can see and discern what you represent it was bishop oyedeko that gave a story when they started remember that gave a story rolled like a curtain and boom i know families that are under the siege of this absence of visibility great people wonderful people well-meaning people but doors never open so whilst we're praying i want you to be angry this morning that this iron gate the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sonder praise the name of the lord yes i believe this you only receive the reward of kings when god connects you to kings you cannot receive the reward of kings in the prison even if you are innocent oh joseph the prison is not the place for reward 
the prison is where both good and bad meet there it's a dangerous place to remain whether you are a wine presser whether you are an interpreter of dreams whether you are a baker if you are in the prison it's a place of confinement but you must trust god for the grace that makes the king to send for joseph and the king sent for joseph and the bible says they brought him out of his dungeon the holy spirit is ministering to someone this morning because though for you the wonder that god wants to do in your life is to use your life as an answer to someone who whether in the secret or in the open said can anything good come out of this family and they are right except that you came from this conference the god of wonder is about to show up in a way and make a definite statement do you believe that please rise up on your feet i'd like you to be patient while we pray because we are going to pray prayer is powerful i came standing in faith with the grace over this house so that we will make some things happen in our lives God is able to do just what he says don't sing listen he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you yes your part now don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able God is able listen in this Bible people had their situations turned overnight they slept as prisoners and by the end of the next day they were in the palace whilst you pray please let your heart be open God you are able to do this God, you are able to do this for your and let us pray so that we can have real results in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and let's pray in the spirit everywhere inside outside those following online we are going to pray please forget about who is but at your left or right just just lift your voice and pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Lift your voice and pray. Shatapakato branda gadose telebakata, the God of wonders. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. Pray. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. my life must change my destiny must reveal the glory the power the grace glory the power the grace of God
those who are following from whatever nation please take time to pray participate follow in prayer call on to me and i will answer I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, from everlasting. says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the Lord in your life in the next five minutes I'd like you to lift up your voice before I bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a God who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting God to reveal himself as a God of increase some of you are trusting God for speed trusting God for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes. I will lift up my eyes. Of businesses, the maker of ministries. Oh, you are not wasting your time, I assure you.
Please pray. The heavens are open over us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. We'll pray for a few minutes. And then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. There are walls we need to break down. And trust God to give us visitations. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. Wherefore? We would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore, the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest, but it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon, but the Bible says Satan hindered us are you ready to pray you're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the god of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus, I come against every hindrance, every mountain. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Career mountains, spiritual mountains, financial mountains mountains stopping your influence and your visibility lift your voice and begin to pray Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Paris Calibranda Gaduzia. Exodus chapter 14. Gaduzia. Exodus chapter. After the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, 
fear not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show you when today you can choose another day but i make up my mind today it says for the egyptians kabaruski avatar this is a word for someone the egyptians the disappointments i know it happened in 2013 14 15 don't get used to pain don't get used to disappointment god is about to show up he said the egyptians whom ye have seen today you shall see them again no more forever verse 14 the lord the god of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by verse 14 please give it to us the lord the god of wonders there are times listen there are times that he will give you grace to walk on water but there are times you say get out of the way this battle has insulted my reputation in your life stand back the lord shall fight for you your own assignment is to hold your peace hallelujah the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me i'm standing by the grace of god and in faith with apostle goodhart and his wife he says speak to the children of israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of jesus i refuse to remain here god of wonders arise push me forward i need advancement in my life is someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray it's time to break open break loose from the left to the right it's time to move forward the god of wonders is arising for you in the name of Jesus in my spiritual life I am moving forward I declare that in ministry I am moving forward breaking boundaries in the name of Jesus in business I am moving forward someone is praying from the depth of your heart if you can pray God is able to show up as a God of wonders hallelujah in the name of jesus we're still praying first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray it was the lord that advanced Moses it was the Lord that advanced Aaron it was the Lord that advanced Rogic it was the Lord that advanced Apostle Goodhart it was the Lord 
that advance the membership the Lord you are not wasting your time Psalm 45 verse 12 something is happening to someone Psalm 45 verse 12 I receive it for myself Psalm 45 and verse 12 and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray God of wonders give me visibility let the Gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the Bible says the daughter of Tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah 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 please look up one of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so God made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed this these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time, eventually you will find expression. We are going to pray these two things. It says, and I will restore years. The first restoration you need is not things. I will restore years. Number two, the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh I will overtake I assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry ten years in one year Ten years in one year, speed in business. When the reaper overtakes the sower, a dimension of speed. Please believe what you are praying. There is grace here. Believe what you are praying. These are not empty words. Believe what you are praying. You are programming spiritual realities. I assure you. Oh, 
Skipada kata bronda skabana Embreke teka toba selera rabos Leke te prato skabana katos Zeke teke 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 te Embra katos kote breke tea In the name of Jesus Restoration by the God of wonders Restoration in the name of Jesus And the fortunes of Job were restored to him The fortunes of Job were restored to him Declare speed over your life Lord give me speed Give me speed Give me speed Don't be tired we are praying You came here to pray You came here in this conference To provoke spiritual realities in your life Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah! Calibran da gato siata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best. Some of us have served people for years. Some of us raised many children. They are in privileged positions today. And by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when god is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus father i declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let a book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open over my ministry let the book of remembrance be open over my business over my company over my firm let the book of remembrance be open over my family 
let the book of remembrance be open over my destiny in this season arise oh god of wonders arise oh god of wonders show up in a way and a manner that all and sundry will know that god is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him last prayer point listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the god of wonders the ministry of destiny help us listen to me there's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life believe me you will never rise not in this life i assure you I wish I had time I would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors I trust that God will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people I look around your ministry and I can tell that that grace is so at work in Apostle Goodhart and his wife. Gifted people, gifted people. From the protocol to your worship team and everyone, it's a grace. I'm sharing it with you so that you will covet it. It does not just happen. These graces are like magnets. They call the people to come. You don't look for them, you won't find them. If you find them, they will come with a side effect. The grace purifies, it knows the kind of people that it calls to you. Gifted people. There are corporations that waste money on so many people 
because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth i mean like ruth was to naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than i'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonder should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer to apostle goodheart and his wife thank god you are this you are that listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head Are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny helpers lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying ali baratos kanabakatoshiata hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger you're going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can i tell you this sincerely i admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight i'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir i'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what i'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what i'm saying this is a prophetic word to rogic 
I stand by the spirit of grace and I'm telling you that a new season a new season the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace I'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace I'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body you see I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of God's grace sir would you be embarrassed if I talk to you I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what I'm seeing a door what do you have to do with music I'm seeing a door this was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years and the Lord is saying here at this conference I'm opening it again this is what I'm saying you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here prophesy to yourself now i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life is changed i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life has changed hallelujah who is grace grace come in the name of jesus i shift you into a new dimension in the spirit are you married are you married where's your husband at home sir. where is home? Yes, sir, at home in abuja in abuja here yes. tell your husband the month of march is a month of breakthrough for you both of you god is about i'm seeing this man cry there has been helper please there has been constraints but god himself is giving you a visitation even by the spirit of god listen i prophesy to you i don't care what it is that has held you down i stand by the god of heaven here at rogic ria ic 2021 in the name of jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level i clear it out of the way in the name of jesus i clear it out of the way i'm hearing a name martha martha please help me guys volume give Martha who is Martha I'm hearing a name Martha we have to be very very fast Martha this is the name that the Lord is giving me I want to pray for that person right now that every plague of darkness every plague of darkness there's a man here please please don't just come out arbitrarily you are into oil and gas oil and gas like full time this is what you do i'm seeing someone you're into oil and gas the lord is asking me to pray for you there is there is i'm seeing a limitation in your business who is that person you you're a member of this church okay you just came i want to pray for you sir where are you coming from i live in abuja you live in abuja here i want to pray for you is it are you comfortable that i pray for you sir you see let me tell you this unlike you know most people have a wrong narrative about men of god as though they are there to just hand pick wealthy people and bring to their churches no it's the grace that makes it are we together now yes there is a grace that makes it it's a shame for a man of god to try to look for blessed people no you raise them that's what the grace was made for 
are we together so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if he's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ sir i pray for you in the name that is above all names that every challenge that stands between you and your business in the oil and gas i declare that the spirit of the sea that attempts to manipulate the lifting of people let it go right now i release that grace and sir the lord is saying i should shift you to the next level now step into that level i release grace upon you in the name of jesus you will never be the same go back to the same thing and step into new dimensions in the name of jesus this man too sir please look at me where are you coming from you, you live here sure. there is a man from the south south that god is going to connect huh you understand what i'm saying have you met him well met you've met with him we work together you walk together that man don't drive him god is going to use him to lift you there is a blessing there i stretch my hands and i pray that the god of heaven will so honor you and bless you and i use two of you as a point of contact for all those who desire this dimension you are trusting god don't be afraid of it we've bullied people in the church to reject influence and we're suffering as a result believe in influence it does not take your heart away from god in the name of jesus i use these great people as a point of contact that everyone who truly desires to step into the oil and gas may this grace come upon you may the god of wonders connect you mysteriously in the name of jesus god bless you sir god bless you sir now i want to pray i'm seeing the lord is revealing to me my sister that lady whose hand is shaking in the name of jesus i'm seeing the anointing coming on her and the lord is saying remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i am doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing sir please come my god yes no 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 yes sir i'm seeing you climb a ladder and the lord is saying the season has come this is what god is saying i should tell you that the season has come father in the name of jesus i'm doing as i have heard uh, every time the lord shows me a man climbing a ladder it means it's a new season for that person in the name of jesus in the open i declare standing in faith with apostle goodheart so you step into a new season more than all you've seen combined in the name of jesus christ the lord is bringing you into that season in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus 
here at Reha IC 2021 we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of Jesus please bring them out favor Kali Katos favor by the supernatural hand of God bring them out we're praying madam what do you do this woman on green yes yes this woman on green what what do you do ma i'm a psalmist a psalmist you sing I want to pray for you that scripture in chapter 12 that God would give you visibility in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands madam there is a grace listen one of the things I am praying that God would drum it upon you again is that results don't just happen there are graces that control them and believe me if that grace is not there no matter how you try it will not work it's as simple and as honest as that in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God I decree and declare you step into a new dimension of your psalmistry supernatural grace for you in the name of Jesus supernatural grace for you now I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper Because I'm about to release the grace for speed. Oh yes, sir. There is a real grace for speed. And when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring those people out. Here at Riha IC 2021, there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny Help this man, please. Hallelujah. Sir, you are the pastor that met me. The pastor yesterday. The man from... Uh, Can Canada. I want to pray for you. You came for this conference because God sent you. There is a grace you did not come with that you are going back with. I want to pray for you when I pray for you please I want you to go and meet God's servant let him lay his hands on you believe me when I tell you there is a strange anointing you're going to take back to Winnipeg a dimension of ministry will be so open for you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now by the Spirit of God carry that grace in the name of Jesus carry that grace walk wonders carry that grace walk wonders by the Spirit carry that grace walk wonders by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ walk wonders help him please Makari Shkaniata oh yes it has come you will never be the same drink of that ancient fountain you will go back to Winnipeg and in the name of Jesus you will set that place ablaze hallelujah hallelujah Who is from Equity State? Equity State. You are wearing like a yellow dress with a nose mask. Equity State. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Who is that? Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are really what 
Where are you? You are from Ekiti State. Ekiti. Ekiti. Huh? I'm from Ekiti Ekiti. Ekiti State. I want to pray for you because your life is about to change. In the name of Jesus, may that grace now, may that anointing come upon you and end comes to captivity forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do? Yes. Huh? You, are you a pastor? You are a pastor. There is a grace that is upon Apostle Goodheart. I'm seeing something connecting two of you. My mother, what is my this? My mother, my mother. She's my mother. She's my mother. This is your mother. Yes, sir. It's a visitation that is coming for the family. Listen, there is a grace upon Apostle Goodheart. Hear what I'm telling you. You will serve faithfully and God is going to lift you. You will be one of those sons of consolations. Indeed, I stretch my hands. Standing in partnership with your father, the man of God, we release you in the name of Jesus. Supernatural dimensions of grace. Signs and wonders by the Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's, what's, I can't remember his name. I think he's a pastor here. Ah, uh, oh dear. Now I can't remember the name. Can I talk to you? Yes. Your life is about to change. Look at me. The Lord says, don't cry. Oh dear. You see, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters. You don't know what people are going through. People laugh and they just rejoice, but there are issues that people have. That's why when God creates platforms like this, we must maximize it. How then do you tell people you met God? Are we together? In the name of Jesus, madam, I pray for you by the spirit of grace. It comes to an end right now. By the grace of God, every reproach, every pain, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare that help her please. It comes to end now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to pray for the sick shortly. Sir, what do you do, sir? The sound engineer. Engineer, can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. May the Lord give prosperity to that which you do. Take that grace. Go with it. Excel with it. In the name of Jesus Christ, excel with it. Um, please don't be embarrassed. Before I pray for the sick, the Lord is showing me something. If you are comfortable, no problem, I'll pray with you. You are involved in an estate. It's like there's an estate project going on with you. But it looks like it's, it's been halted for some reason. Who is that? The Lord wants to give grace and to advance that work now. I'm not saying you are maybe estate agent too. I mean you are, please, let's, let's, this is the house of the Lord. Let's be sincere. You, sir. You too, sir. Thank you. Honor you, sir. Don't forget to come and testify. You will marvel and wonder at what God does. Who is trying to sell a property? They negotiated it and they wanted to cheat you. Mama, look at me, don't cry. The Lord is rolling everything that looks like reproach in your life. I don't know you from Adam, receive that grace, help her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I give life and strength to you and I call the right persons to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, Sir, this is what you do? This is what you do? Yes, sir. In Abuja here? In Morocco. Aha, because I'm not seeing it in this city. I'm seeing you going to one of the, one of the African countries again to do a, like a, a, a real estate project or something like that. When that opportunity comes, pray that God will bring sincere people so that they will not cheat you eventually you understand what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not a prophet of doom. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just speaking by the Spirit of God. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sir. I release grace. There is favor that is coming on you. 
I'm praying. I will pray for the rest, but the Lord is asking me to minister to you. In the name of Jesus, you hold something today that will change your life. A token of the Spirit that causes doors to open no matter where you go to. You will negotiate with people, you will negotiate with captains of industry, men of influence and governments, and no power will shut you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, my friend, you didn't come out for real estate, oh. you came out for deliverance. Lift your hands, you, I want to pray for you. Look at me, I cast that spirit out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ, release him, release his family now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, my brothers and my sisters, hear me. The devil is a wicked devil. He's an evil devil. And he's only out to steal, to kill, the Bible declares, and to destroy. But scripture declares that I am come, that ye may have life, and that you will have it even more abundantly. You will see a young man like this, and because what I don't want to describe what I'm seeing, I'm not one who wants to glorify the devil. But I'm looking at this gentleman, and I'm seeing serpents from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. And he just came out to stand for real estate. This has nothing to do with real estate. God just brought you out to help you. I have to pray for you. Do you know it's not normal for someone to intend to bless you and change their minds? It's a very demonic thing. And I prophesy to someone here, everyone who has agreed to be of help and support, and there are powers attempting to change their minds in the name of jesus christ every veil that is upon your face causing negative occurrences i tear off that veil now i tear off that veil now i tear off that veil now lift your voice and begin to pray in jesus name i declare my liberty in jesus name i declare my liberty are you praying lift your voice and pray don't be tired Hallelujah. Sir. Sir. I want to pray for you. Are, are you comfortable that I pray for you, sir? Just where you are, I will stretch my hands. There is a grace that is coming upon you. Please stand up, sir. You don't have to kneel. You are an elderly man. I want to pray for you. And I am seeing that in six weeks exactly, there is a door that if not protected with prophecy, that door will come and it will return you back to a cycle that you are just recovering from. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the spirit of grace that this time around, may my God honor you. This time around, may my God lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, wh why is she here? Part of those who fell under the anointing. Stand up. Your life is about to change. Eh? I'm seeing, look at me. I'm seeing what was on Queen Esther on you shout you are a member of this church you are, you, are, you, are so, you see why it's good to invite people it's not just about wanting membership you will invite people because it's an opportunity it's an opportunity for an encounter don't cry the lady is crying she knows what i'm talking about look at me shout jesus as loud as you can in the name of jesus i declare this grace upon you that was on Queen Esther. May that grace come upon you for the sake of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will shout in the congregation, very loud shout to the hearing of everyone. Please carry her and bring her here. Honestly. All of you who are involved in real estate, as, as I said, and, and, and have come out in the name of Jesus, I stand by the God of heaven and I pray, I speak over your life that in the name that is above all names. Mama, please, when I'm done praying, I want you to please go to the woman of God. The Lord is instructing that she will lay her hand on you. I don't know why God is giving this instruction. Let's just obey it. That God, the woman of God will just lay her hands on you. I declare open doors open doors please believe it say amen open doors i declare by the spirit of grace that anybody who fights you goes down instantly anybody who fights you i say it again goes down instantly anybody who fights you goes down instantly anybody who fights you goes down instantly 
and every approval um what is the forgive me i'm i'm still new what is the regulatory body for maybe housing and f something who has a problem with them there's somebody who has that you huh that's why the god brought you out here what what's the issue but he keeps reporting our house to them that they should check our papers and they're coming down to harass you that's why god brought you out i don't know anything about you or the regulatory body in the name of jesus god is raising a helper to help you you see the, the teaching on destiny helpers is for you because the truth is that with what i'm seeing you know you don't have the power to defend yourself but may god send you help from zion when apostle goodhart came up here he, he spoke that scripture it was prophetic to send you help from zion in the name of jesus send you help from zion send you help from zion for you and your family we we take away shame and reproach in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus um there are two ladies i'm seeing god is healing you right now from a lump lump in your breast we'll, we'll pray now i just have less than 15 minutes and we're done i hope i'm not wasting your time praise the lord is this your wife husband and wife come your life is about to change please just clear the way for them husband and, don't cry sir oh dear apostle good heart thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for providing this opportunity when you see a couple crying like this they are not children they know what it is you see there are times even jesus wept there are there are issues that you have sometimes you just sit down and you're crying please don't cry what do you do sir i'm see ah okay this word god thank you thank you how kind i'm seeing you i'm seeing you do things is it like events or interior like you are you are who is that Work together we work together you work together yes sir. but i'm also seeing you with a bible I'm a pastor. okay i want to pray for you apostle sir one of the things i sense god is doing is looking for your leaders and just bringing consolation you notice god began to do this yesterday now that doesn't mean if i don't call you you are not faithful don't get me wrong you don't have to be called i'm just it's just these are signs these are signs father what, what's his name what's your name sir Tolu, Tolu and, esther. and esther in the name of jesus i'm releasing an anointing on both of you god will shift you to new dimensions as a couple right now in the name of jesus take that grace fresh fire in the name of jesus drink of that wine drink of that wine i open you up to strange businesses in the name of jesus christ strange businesses help them please in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ where's the gentleman there was a gentleman who was oh dear i can't remember his face he was leading uh, worship here at the time i think he's in the help, help this lady one of these men yesterday he was here is he here he didn't come come on my brother your life is about to change what's your name sir i hope you are not embarrassed can i pray for you what do you do i'm a pastor here ah. you are, you heard the choir Ah. don't feel bad eh? but this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing someone take you to Dubai to, just to bless you and bring you back you go and write this if this doesn't happen go and look for a newspaper and say a, a stupid man came to lie to you this is what I'm seeing that God I'm, I'm, this is what I'm seeing because I opened my eyes and I saw you in Dubai 
and maybe for like maybe an all expense paid trip just to bless you to honor you for what you are doing i stretch my hands receive that grace all kinds of favors help him in the name of jesus believers hear me do not listen to people who make you look stupid for serving in the house of god it truly pays to serve jesus it may not look like you are getting rewards every day but the day god decides to shake himself on your case you will marvel and wonder at what he does to your life look at the gentleman crying sir i bless you in the name of jesus that as you continue to be loyal and faithful i declare even as god has spoken i declare that your time has come who is jennifer jennifer i'm hearing a name jennifer i'm hearing a name jennifer you are the back you are the back it's oh dear there's no one like that no are you sisters she's your what because God wants this girl you see as little as she is there is grace on her what am I seeing her do is I'm seeing her washing plates what does she do she's my, she, she's my housekeeper like she she's a housekeeper yes. look at she's crying oh dear young lady listen to me I want you to be faithful serve this woman there is something that God will use this woman to do in your life in the name of Jesus listen it doesn't matter how big or how small the place of service is there is a deception that we have that until you are busy until you are seen no matter how even if you are the one who cleans the pulpit and no one sees you I assure you the all-seeing eye of God I'm saying this as an encouragement I'm sure that there are people maybe who are working maybe traffic control outside they may not have the opportunity to come and sometimes the devil deceives us into believing help that man help that man there is a grace that is coming I pray for you my dear you will be a very great lady God is lifting you and you will help your family be faithful be true madam please help this girl you hear what i'm telling you because you are very kind i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something that was on naomi in the bible you know a woman called naomi in the bible naomi not the one that was with ruth oh. naomi in the book of acts go and find out about her i'm seeing that same grace on you in the name of jesus i bless you and i bless this our dear one in the name of jesus christ my dear Look at me it comes to an end now i stretch my hands out now in the name of jesus everything that has not been planted by my father over your life and destiny in the name of jesus i am agreeing with you right now we uproot it right now we uproot it we uproot it in the name of jesus christ Let's pray for the sick now. Please, if I pray for you, you can just go back to your seat so that we can just decongest this. Madam, please don't forget, um, the Lord gave an instruction. You can just tell to the woman of God so that she would lay hands. I saw this in the spirit. Hallelujah. How many of you are trusting God for a miracle in your body? refuse to allow sickness have its toll in your life please i want to pray for you now please don't miss this night by the grace of god i'll be sharing something the lord put in my heart and then we'll take the time to be ministering to the sick and if it's usually now i have to seek for permission if apostle goodhart allows me sir i want to plead for a permission that the people come with prayer requests is it oh thank you thank you now please this is what I want you to do this evening. Please invite as many. I want you to write. I want you to write a request of what must leave your life that you will never see again in your life. According to Exodus 14, 13 and 15. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son.
attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us.